Hi and welcome to this clip having a look at how we can use a Bohr and Haber cycle to obtain hydration entropy of a single ion. So let's start with the beginning part of the question where it asks us to add the species presence including state symbols. So using our knowledge of Bohr and Haber cycles, at the top of every Bohr and Haber cycle you should have two gaseous metal ions because they're created um, here. Let's take my laser pointer. Okay, so these go up here. Uh, these go up here. Now the change is from Mg plus to Mg2 plus. So you need to just collect everything that you've made and put it in there. And the missing part there, um, having a quick look, this is a solid magnesium going to a gaseous magnesium, so therefore that must be the atomization of magnesium. These two are the same, so that change doesn't involve bromine, so it must mean that you're actually making um, two moles of gaseous bromine atoms and then putting them up there. So therefore the process by making it, where you make that, is you start with Br2 as a liquid. So now what we need to do is to use the completed energy cycle to calculate the enthalpy change of hydration of bromide ions. So what I'm going to do is do an indirect route that involves using all of these numbers. And then we'll work out whereabouts on the Bohr-Haber cycle this hydration of a bromide ion might fit in. So let's first of all think about what hydration means. It's the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions are completely dissolved in water. So we're going to try and apply this to bromide. So that's the equation for the bromide ion um, hydration. You should look at where this species and this species exist in our born haber cycle. So it shouldn't be too difficult to spot that they're here and here. So that means we can put a start here and a finish down here. So it's this part we want. So bear in mind that it's two Br minuses there and two Br minuses there. So we'll have to think about dividing something in half eventually to isolate just the hydration enthalpy of the bromide ion. So I'm going to draw in a indirect route. So what I mean is a route that takes me from here all the way around and down. So what will happen is I'll put in some arrows and some of them might point in the opposite direction to these black arrows you can see. And I remember black arrows pointing down, the enthalpy arrows, those are exothermic changes because energy is being lost. And the black arrows pointing up are endothermic changes, that's energy being taken in. Now if I do a indirect route like that, what I'm going to do is take these numbers and put them in the right places. But I'm going to check very carefully if my blue arrow goes against the sign, sorry, against the direction of the black arrow, I'm going to change the sign around but keep the magnitude the same. Okay, because this process here, for example, the one I'm highlighting, this is the opposite to this process but it's the same energy magnitude. It's the same amount of energy, but it's transferred in the opposite direction. So let's just put that in. So if we take one just to, to highlight it, I put in plus 1926 instead of minus 1926, because this is the hydration of the magnesium ion. So I've just taken all these numbers and carefully thought about where they'd fit in. Now obviously here, there are two bromides being produced. So two bromine, um, uh, two moles of bromine atoms in gaseous form. So it's minus 112 in there times two. So what you do is you put the calculation in, and that gives you minus 693. And the hydration enthalpy is obviously half of that, which gives you minus 346.5. So moving on to the next bit, it's calculating the lattice enthalpy. So applying that definition to a, uh, to a, an equation, you can pop it in there. That's the calculation that's um, solved for delta LEH. It's so minus delta LEH, remember. So the number we get is 2433. So the lattice enthalpy, in other words, positive delta LEH, must be the minus 2433. So having a quick check of the mark scheme for a few seconds before we finish off, you can see that uh, the numbers match ours. And remember, these are only the main answers. There's lots of ECF credit available if mistakes are made and they're followed on from. Thanks a lot and see you soon.